or just kick back and lounge around with radio fundus late night shows from 11 pm to 1 am from monday to friday for advertising with radio fundu please call 408-476-6118 408-476-6118 our new dental care has been providing exceptional dental treatment and services to the bay area community Dental Care is at the forefront of modern innovation and discovery in dental science. Many dentists offer Invisalign. Why not get yours done from an elite provider among the top 1% of all Invisalign providers worldwide? Anu Dental, multi-specialist dental centers. Now in four locations, Dublin, San Jose, Cupertino, and Fremont. For free consultation, call 408-272-3330. That's 408-272-3330. Or visit anudental.com. Listen to Dr. Pandu every Tuesday, 12 to 1 p.m. on Radio Pandu's Health Hour. It's that time of year again! Are your statements in order? Even if you are miles behind, CPA Sanjay Gupta will get you and your tax forms up to speed, increasing your refund and giving you peace of mind. Be it income tax, payroll, sales tax, or bookkeeping, he will take care of everything with full satisfaction and ensure you are compliant with various requirements. Contact Sanjay Gupta CPA at 510-825-7563 for various corporations, LLC, partnerships, and individual tax and accounting requirements. Or log on to sanjeevcpa.com. Now welcome Sharp Rally on Radio Fundu's Law Segment. The Sharp Rally Law Group is headquartered in the Bay Area. They have successfully handled many immigration cases inside and outside the United States. Listen to Sharp Rally every Tuesday from 11 a.m. to 12. For more information visit www.pirallylaw.com. Views and opinions expressed on Radio Fundu by guests or callers do not necessarily represent those of staff or management. Hello everybody, this is Sharp Rally and we're going to have a, an exciting show today. We're talking about an exceptional subject today, the, the issue of the close down of Tri-Valley University. So just tune in, keep listening. You can watch us live online on Sharp Rally Law Show or you can check on US Ask us attorneys.com and we are the number to call the studio today is 1855-772-8278 1855-772-8278 and that number is a toll free number so you can call from anywhere in the United States so I wanted to talk uh, yes as, as I started before I start I have to have a disclaimer so what I'm saying is um, Whatever I'm going to say today is for educational purposes only, and there is no attorney-client relationship. And uh, if you need uh, le pure legal advice, I will advise you to contact, uh, to call us on 510-742-5887, 510-742-5887. So, um, yes, uh, as you all know, there's a big issue going on right now with uh, Tri-Valley University in Pleasanton, which has been raided by the by the Department of Homeland Security and ICE and actually I published a press release on Friday on this matter and um, we're getting calls, really a lot of calls in our office right now and most of them are related to this uh, this issue. Many of the students unfortunately were on the service uh, F1 student status and because of this raid and the shutdown of the school they have not been able to get um, to get what we, we were expecting uh, from uh, from the school actually so there are a few issues that first i'm going to discuss one of them uh, for those students what are the options and possible options because right now at this point anything can happen unless we, we kind of control it there should be some damage control of course but at the same time there are a few options um, one of the one that we are seeing frequently right now is that many of the students were uh, was on H4, and because of that H4, they they can go back possibly on H4, but some of those students are talking about transferring the service, and this is a big problem. I think we have one caller. Just put me. Yes. Uh, yes. This is Sharp Rally. We are live on air. Hello. Uh, Hello, uh, hi Sha. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good, uh, how are you? I'm doing well, I'm doing well. What can I do for you? Uh, yeah, uh, my question was that uh, I was, uh, uh, I'm a student uh, and uh, I came to the US in uh, 2008 uh, 
and uh, I came to another university and then I transferred uh, to uh, this uh, tri University in uh, 2010. I mean, I completed all my three semesters in another accredited university, but uh, I changed to, I moved to Fremont and that's the reason I moved to this university and mm -hmm. I just completed one semester with the uh, Tri Valley University and I came to know now it's shut down and... Um, Yes, actually, yes, it is It is a, a problem and it's happening for many people. Right now, there is a limbo situation or there is also a, a situation where uh, as soon as they're cutting off many of those people, uh, their visa is also getting cut off. So, right. uh -huh. do you have any kind of, uh, are you married by any chance, may I ask? No, I'm, I'm single. I'm oh, single. Okay, there are a few options that are available right now that we are looking into. And if there are some criminal issues, we, we are still looking at the possibility of what we call a U visa. A U visa are people who are victim of a criminal activity, but unfortunately it doesn't seem like the criminal activity will be qualifying for a U visa. So I will advise you to give me a call at the office. We will go through a checklist of all the possibilities for you, including if we can put you on a humanitarian uh, ground uh, B visa, or even shift okay. you to an H-1B if a company is willing to take you. Just to let you know, H1B uh, is still open. There are still like 1,500 available. So, uh, okay. if a company is is willing to take you and hire you, they might be able to do what we call an H1B for you. So, give us a call at the office on 510-742-587. Uh, okay. Uh, sure. Uh, Sha, my question was that, I mean, uh, um, when the raid was happening and we, we never knew about this issue and a few federal agents, they did come to my house and uh, yes. they took us to the DHS uh, office yes. uh, well, and they inquired and uh, we were, they made us sign few documents as well, you know. This is the biggest, and this is the biggest mistake right now. That's what I'm telling everybody. That's why I put this show especially for that. One of the uh -huh. things that I advise everybody and it's, it's included, if you go on my website of immigrationlegalblog.com, right. mm -hmm. there is a link called Know Your Rights, okay? One of the first right. rule of thumb is that you don't talk to any authorities without the presence of an attorney. Because they will make you sign paperwork that will hurt you maybe down the road. And not always, but sometimes. So that's why you have a right to an attorney. You don't have a right to a free attorney because you're an immigrant. However, you have a right to a paid attorney. So the first rule is always to tell them, sir, um, I, I would be glad to talk to you, but I would like my attorney to be present. And this is happening since yesterday. I said since Friday, we've been getting calls all over the United States where uh, immigration uh -huh. agents are going to people's houses and questioning them. And even if you believe it's innocent questioning, it can come and harm you. So there's nothing right. wrong having an attorney present with you. And we are doing representation for those people right now. So I'm, I mean, uh, we, we never knew about this. I mean, this happened the same day when uh, we got this news in the morning. I mean, the federal agents itself told us that uh, the university is shut down. I mean, the, raid ha the raids happened at the university at 6 o'clock something. And they came at my place at like 7.30 and like group of students and then and a few other students were also uh, taken to DHS office. I mean, when we, we went there, we already saw a few students were there at the yes. DHS office. Yeah, it's happening a lot. That's one thing that we have started putting press releases and telling people. The first rule of term, uh, you don't want to talk without the presence of an attorney because having an attorney by your side is that is is protects your rights, your civil rights in this right. country. And that's covered by the by the your right to counsel in the Constitution of the United States. And if you read that, uh, uh, that article that I've published called Know Your Rights. It's an article mm -hmm. that comes from the Law Caucus that I've republished and right. it's on Immigration Legal Blog. It will give you some tips how to deal when, uh, when the FBI comes to your house or any authorities. It applies to everybody. Uh, unfortunately you have already done that because we can still help you. Uh, give us a call at the office. Let's see what we can do for you. Hopefully there will be just an investigation. They will not pressure anything against you. But just be ready uh, to uh, be prepared on your side to have an attorney by your side so uh, sure I mean uh, I was just wondering uh, are, we, are we still eligible I mean to apply for the H1 visa Yes and no. This is the whole problem that we are having because this thing happens so fast that we mm -hmm. are trying. I, I just asked my office. I'm putting my whole team on, on this right now. We are trying to call some Congress people. I have the newspaper been calling me a whole weekend, and they just called me for an interview. But I've been busy right now on the on the radio. But um, we're going to try to get everybody to help us, including the American immigration lawyers, because I know many students in there are victims. They are not 
criminals, they are victims. I repeat that. So you, right. if you are a victim, so we should be able to help you. Uh, we will not be able to save everybody, unfortunately, but whoever we can save, if we can save one student, we'll be very, very glad. Okay? Right, right. So give me a call if I can help you on 510-742-5887. And the number sure. to the studio today is one eight five five seven seven two eight two seven eight. I really thank you for your testimonial today because this is happening to many, many, many uh, uh, people right. right now, and it's amazing how much. Um, how many people might be hurt in the process and we want to kind of have something from the government that will help those victims okay mm -hmm. all right Shah. thank you so thank much thank you very much yeah. we are here for you okay uh, this is uh, Shah Rally. i'm your immigration attorney we are dedicating this this show today to this special issue that happening on the tri valley i know many people are kind of fearful to call today the number of the studio is one eight five five seven seven two eight two seven eight call us tell us what's happening to you and uh, we are going to talk about few options uh, regarding this tri valley issue um what has happened for those who don't know uh immigration department of homeland security raided the tri valley uh, university which is a university in Pleasanton, california and they shut them down and many of the students are being affected because many of them were on student visa and unfortunately, many of them are Indians. Hello, this is Shabir Ali. You're live on air. Hi, this is Pratik. Uh, I have a question regarding the, uh, this play which happened at the Travel University. Yes, go ahead, sir. I'm listening to you. Okay, uh, my wife was uh, enrolled with Travel for the fall 2010 time. Yes. And she was actually, she came to the United States in 2007 on the FM visa. Yes. She was with uh, Sunny. And she finished her MBA, she was on the OPT. So on her OPT of expiring, she just transferred to this university. Mm -hmm. And uh, I spoke to my lawyer. I, uh, I'm a full time H1B employee. So she already filed for her H4. Yes. Now I have a question that uh, why her H4 is in process? Is there any chance that uh, it can be denied? And is it advisable to go back to India okay, and hold on. Okay, you, you pretty much answered your questions, but yes, there is a chance of denial. However, what we are hoping when we are filing those edge for is to look at the humanitarian issues involved in this case. When we are doing, we are getting many of those cases, by the way, like yours. What we are doing when we are filing the package, as from today when we are going to file, we are going to put a letter and a declaration possibly explaining the situation to the immigration that it's not of their fault. Those people uh, genuinely wanted to go to school and now, uh, unfortunately, because of what they have done and what has happened, they just should mm -hmm. not be paying for that. So, uh, I, I'm pretty sure, uh, hopefully, if we get the enough pressure from the press, etc., we might be able to give an ex to have immigration create an exception. But you're right. Mm -hmm. Worst case scenario, as long as she doesn't pass 180 days, she will be able to come back, uh, go to India or another country, and pick back her H4 and come back. Okay. Okay, and. Uh, uh, she was also using the CPT and she stopped uh, using it on the same day. So, yes, is there yes. an issue as she used her CPT with the she, employer? With she, cannot, she cannot she use it anymore right now. Because it's not much now. Yeah, but if she use it back in the days, everything was, whatever has been done has been done. We can only deal with it, but um, there will be issues definitely depending how the investigation goes with the DHS. We have very limited information right now. We just know that a lot of people are are going to the, to the university and um, I mean a lot of people are getting uh, visits from the DHS and they're questioning them. And the last time I checked, there was no criminal charges filed yet against the university so as we get any information i'm updating them on my blog on immigrationlegalblog.com or my website piralilaw.com p-e-e-r-a-l-l-y law.com if you have more specific details you don't want to discuss over the air and if i don't have time give me a call at the office on 510 510- 742-5887 okay and before i hang up can i ask you a last question sure go ahead okay uh after applying for that for she went to the authorized stay now is there any chances of getting detained or uh, deported while she is on her authorized stay um most of the time no because she's under uh, authorized stay by the attorney general however if they are convinced that uh, that that person is con uh con 
has committed some kind of fraud, they always have a right to do that. Remember, you're an immigrant, so your rights are very limited. However, um, I'm hoping that immigration will understand the situation, and we're going to be uh, remaining in contact with all the contacts we can have, possibly that can help us, to make sure that they don't detain people just for no reason. However, I cannot promise you they won't do it, but I'm... Uh, it seems they won't do it, but we don't know yet. We'll have to see how the situation unfolds in the next week, okay? Okay. 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 If you'd like to you call me if you have questions. The number to call yeah. the studio today is one 772 We're talking about the issues with Thrive Valley University. And I know many people are watching us online. I think 50 people right now are watching us. And, um, and it seems like... Um, this thing is really, really uh, getting a momentum in terms of what is happening. Uh, and I think we'll have another call. This is Shap Rally. You're live on air. Hey, hi. Uh, hi. My, uh, my wife was with TVU and she was on F1 visa, yes. CPT. Mm -hmm. So due to this uh, recent shutdown now, I think her status is spoiled. So yes, are you, are you an H1? Yes, I'm on H1. Okay, be. so what we need to do, really quick, we need to do a transfer on H4 probably, see if it works. Um, that's what we are doing it in a kind of an exceptional way. If you give me a call at the office, I can explain to you, but the one thing quickly, if you can possibly do a transfer really fast for her on H4, that will protect okay. her at least. And then after that, uh, we can see if there will be a service transfer and then we, she can go back to another school, okay? So uh, basically, uh, her employer uh, is willing to file H1B also for her. So I'm a little bit confused whether we should file H1B or H4 at this point of time. Yeah, file H1B if you get a chance for H1B, but my advice is to file the H4 and then mm -hmm. uh, also file the, the H1B and then whichever comes first because the, the problem is that H1B there are only like 1500 left probably okay. and it okay. might be closing in the next few days and if you lose that then she will be out of status but um, because right now the, the H1B will not kick in immediately uh, during okay. the filing so I will advise you to do the H4 and then also if possible the H1B however this is a case by case basis if you can give me a call at the office I can analyze more deeply and see what I can do for you okay okay thanks a lot you're welcome 510-742-587 the number to call the studio 1-855-772-8278 I think we have another caller this is Shapiro Ali you're live on air Hi, Mr. Ali. This is yes. I I have a different question actually, not regarding Tri Valley University, but yes, go ahead. I am a OTT right now, mm -hmm. and uh, I graduated this summer and moved here from Michigan. But yes. the thing is, I was working at a company, but now I'm unemployed. Yeah. So, uh, does that is there any uh, time limit of OPT? How long you can be unemployed, or you know, OPT will expire next summer, uh, this summer. So I can yeah, technically we cannot, we cannot be unemployed usually, I think for 90 days if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but there are ways to do that. What I would advise you, give me a call at the office because I'm focusing on the tri Valley today and I don't want to kind of change the subject. But I'd be glad to talk to you if you call me at the office on 510-742-5887. But if you stay too long without using the OPT, you might have problems, okay? Okay. All okay. right. Thank you. Good luck to you. This is Shabu Ali. You're live on air. Hey, uh, Mr. Shah, good morning. Good morning, sir. Yeah, so yes. uh, I can't live on the issue. So uh, yes. I done my master's from another university. Yes. And uh, I completed my OPT. Yes. The ending stage of my OPT recently for the spring semester. I transferred my semester. I went to this university, this Tri-Valley University. So and, uh, when did you transfer to Tri-Valley? Uh, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, okay. So um, pretty much it's at early stage. You have not started any class yet, right? Mm, no. Okay. So at this point, as I was mentioning, travel everything which is attached to travel is pretty much either in limbo or cancel. So wh what is your? You are an F, F student, right? Yeah, I'm an uh, ex student. Okay. Do you, are you married? Do you have a, a spouse? Which yeah. uh, H one is your spouse? An no, H1? I'm. I'm an F student, so my, my spouse is on F2. 
F2. Okay, so both of you have issue. So uh, in this case, we need to find out if we can transfer you to another school or ultimately see other avenues for you, maybe another kind of visa or humanitarian grounds to make you stay in this country. Or ultimately, like I said, some people will not be able to get anything. They might have to leave and come back later on another student visa. But unless we go to all your options, uh, just to give you an idea, this is how we're doing it. When people are calling our office, we're asking them a bunch of questions and see what kind of visa they can go on to. Because some people don't know, they might be able to go on H4, they might be able to go on H1B, they might be able to have also a green card and EB1. Some person even told me that they cannot go back because they fear for their life, so they might be eligible for asylum. All those options, we can just kind of go over them through a consultation, and it's very hard for me to do it right there on the air. So I will advise you, give me a call on 510-742-5887. We have a great team waiting right now. The phone is really busy, but you keep calling, you will get someone there because we have, I think, six people picking up the phone, and the phone has been ringing since this morning because of that issue, okay? So yes. let me look into what we can do for you. And also some employers have contacted us and say they have some positions if people are interested in H1B. But uh, this is with the employer. We don't do that service, but we can just put you in contact if you're interested, okay? Uh, wonderful, definitely. And I have uh, just one more question. Sure, go ahead, I'm listening to you. Yeah, okay. Uh, so in, if any case, if I got an opportunity of F1 from another university, an accredited university, but uh, since this service is not tra is not being transferred from USCIS, so. Uh well, well, hold on a second here. It's not not being transferred. What we are doing, this is where our job will come in. We are trying to push your CIS to consider a transfer. I know it's very difficult, but that's why I am putting my team to, uh, and I'm making a, an open call here to all the senators, all people in the politics who are listening to me. We need your help here. We need the, the reporters, because many of those students are victims like you. You didn't do anything wrong. You just went to school, and now you're paying for a crime that you have not committed. So I want... I want to make a, an open call here to all the senators, all the Congress people. I'm going to start calling the office. I, I actually started this morning. I sent one of my staff to start calling them. We need their support. We need, and newspapers have been calling me, and we will need the support because we want to show the other side of the story. They are showing only one side that all the immigrants are coming back here, basically using student visa. We want to show them that also those people are here to study in the United States. They're not just here to take advantage of the system. So why don't give them a chance? You pay your hard-earned money on this, right? So why should right. you not get the advantage of, of protection of the United States just because a school did something which, quote-unquote, the immigration is claiming to be wrong, which we are not even sure which is wrong. What they're saying, basically, from what I've learned is, um, and don't quote me on this, is basically they were using virtual school. We understand that, but guess what? When they issued, they allowed them to issue those uh, I-20s, they should have checked that. Now, in the middle, after those people hired so many students, um, got so many students now they just shut them off so the blame has to be on their side too and we're going to fight this we're going to take it on to, to a, any level we can take it on we just need the support of everybody so hang on, hang on with us and let's see what we can do for all of, of all of you okay that's really, that's really wonderful Shan. thank you very thank much. you very much and good luck to you we wish you all all the best okay thank you thank you thank you and yes as i was mentioning to the caller before us um this is something really really um amazing that is happening and just to let you people know we are on shah uh shah pirali law show.com and i can see like 50 or 60 people are listening to us online viewing us on the webcam and i know this issue is really really hot uh, i actually posted a youtube yesterday just i think we have another caller this is shah pirali we're live on air Hi, Mao. I was just calling to let you know. I've been listening to your radio. Yes. And um, I just wanted to uh, volunteer for any kind of help that you needed to offer. Oh, to my thank you. Students. Thank you very uh, much. I probably can send you an email with my phone number. I don't want to read it. Yes, there. please. Why don't you uh, let me give you my phone number right now? Call Anu in the office on 510 742. Okay. 5887. Uh -huh. Just tell her you talk to me and you want to volunteer, and she will schedule some. We're a little bit busy, but I'll get back to you tonight, okay? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'll leave you much. I'll give thank you, you thank you. I really appreciate people who wants to help on this, okay? Thank you. Oh, no problem. Take, thank you. Take care. Bye.
Yes, uh, as I mentioned, you see, this is ca people don't realize it. This is at our back door. What has happened is a landing from the Immigration Department of Homeland Security. Um, as much as they're doing their job, but unfortunately, the way it's done, many of those people, and we're talking almost 4,000 students here, and most of them from India, and they are out of status somehow, only limbo status. And this kind of things happens. Yes, it does happen, but it just happened in our backyard. So, um, luckily, our law firm does immigration law. We are trying to step up and help. We have posted press releases. I posted a YouTube video yesterday, I was, as I was mentioning. And actually, I was amazed. As soon as I posted it, in, I think, five hours, we got 600 uh, hits on it because people are interested to know what's happening. The other thing that I want to know is that also I've, got, I've been in contact with one of the... The reporters who wrote the article about it from patch.com and and um, I was hoping to have her on, on the air with me but unfortunately I don't know if she can call if she's listening she will be calling us so um, and her name is as Ma, um, um, Federis and uh, she had written that article on patch.com which kind of kind of stated the, the whole, and there was an article also on sounds and mercury news but um, I'm t and I just got another call from another newspaper. They want to interview us on this. I want you guys to hang in there. And first rule of thumb, don't talk to immigration without an attorney present. You might think you didn't do anything wrong. You will talk. But unfortunately, the system doesn't work this way. That's that's your right. And when I see an attorney, don't go to an agent. You already got probably in trouble because you use an agent or a consultant who's not licensed to practice law. Hire a licensed attorney. Our law firm has licensed attorneys. We are lawyers. We've been doing immigration for almost six years now, and we have a very good track record. If you check PeralliLaw.com, P-E-E-R-A-L-L-Y Law.com, and I'm not promising here that we can help everybody, but the only thing I can I can tell you is that we will do our best to help. The number to call the studio today for a live question is 1-855-772-8278, 1-855-772-8278. I would like to hear from you and hear what you have to say on the matter and what, where we can help you. I'm going to go f in a few options. Um, there, if you go on my website, uh, if you go on my website on Immigration Legal Blog or on shopwali.com, I posted some links that will be very interesting. I think we have one caller. This is Shop Rally. You're live on air. Hi, how are you? Can you switch off your radio, please? Uh, uh, I, I, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you, sir. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, so uh, I'm also a student of uh, TVO. I did my master's here in the uh, United States and uh, I transferred last year uh, uh, to, uh, to, do, to pursue my PhD program. Yes. And uh, so, uh, so as we all know that, like, you know, we are all stuck up in this uh, know, uh, situation here. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, uh, so my question is, like, you know, is there any chance, like, you know, where I can uh, file for my H1B right now? Uh, is, is there going to be any problem or yes actually uh, actually like like this volunteer who called uh, employers who have been calling us saying that they have they might have some position for the right candidates so if you give me a call at the office uh, on 510-742-5887 I can put you in contact with them just to let you know uh, we're not charging anything on this uh, when it comes to those uh, introduction because this is up to you guys uh, only thing we are doing is just try to help as many students as we can so some okay. people out of yeah. Good heart, say we have a position maybe for 10. If you can save 10, 20 people, we'll be glad to do that, okay? So, I really appreciate what you're doing right now. And, um, uh, and, 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 the thing, and, and the thing is, like, uh, one more question, sir. Mm -hmm. So, uh, if, uh, if I come across with any immigration officer or, like, you know, anybody, like, yeah. you know, uh, would you really uh, stand, uh, st uh, yes, stand, first stand you tell them, I'll be glad to talk to you, sir. But uh, if you want to, first, well, I want to have an attorney present. If you go on my website, Immigration Legal Blog, and shopwali.com, on the bottom, there is something called know your rights and uh, know your rights and I posted the link if you are uh, and shot uh, yeah, I've already I've already, uh, uh, yeah, already yeah. you make sure that. that you comply with that and call us right away and we'll be glad or you can call us at the office we can start pre representing you or something like that so, okay so what if what if uh, what if like a uh, chemical the situation come up in the weird, weird uh, yeah. uh, you uh, have, timings you, like you know yeah. Yeah, this is the best advice I can tell you. Tell them I'd be glad to talk, but I want an attorney present. This is your right under the Miranda, what you hear on the TV. Call me at the office. We have more callers, and I will be glad okay, yeah. to explain to you thank more you. details. Uh, Good luck uh, to you, I really thank you so much. Yeah, oh, you're you welcome. So. You're welcome. This is Sharp Rally. You're live on air. Hello?
This is Shop Roddy, you're live on air. Yeah, hi, uh, hi. my name is uh, Suresh. Hi, Suresh. Uh, yeah, hi, Shah. Like, uh, like, I have uh, registered with a TVO in uh, Raspol, uh, and uh, I'm actually about to register for the spring semester uh, in the February, too. I mean, in the January too, uh, but uh, until then this, this thing happened. Uh, like, I actually on CPT when I was registered with the, uh, for the floor with the trial rally. Mm -hmm. Like, I have been working with the company, like, I just started my work, like, last week. So you're working with, with who, with Thrive Valley, or you're working with a company to CP? No, like, I'm actually working with a company. Yes. I'm on CPT with the trial rally, like, they, they have yes, shooting yes. the shooting with the... I got you, yeah. Uh, yeah, in December, so I uh, have started my work last week. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, and actually, the employers are uh, willing to sponsor me for the H1B. Yes. So, I, I don't understand the problem. Like, I should need to go for work. Like, it's a. Uh, uh, but, I'm a but this thing is not really uh, letting me go to the work because I may face a problem. Because if I go to the work. Uh, you, cannot, you cannot go to work. Your CPT is yeah. gone because it's attached to the student visa. So what I will advise you at this point, don't worry about work. First thing, we have to get you something to keep you in this country. Or ultimately, uh -huh. if you cannot do anything, you'll have to leave. So give me a call. I don't want you to go to work because uh, at least you have to inform the employer what is your situation. Because right now, technically, since the service has been terminated or in limbo, it, mm -hmm. it seems like also the CPTs, OPTs, everything that is attached to it is gone. Uh, we mm -hmm. don't have confirmation on that. However, we want to make sure that you don't uh, work without authorization because that can be a problem for you down the road so give me a call at the office we'll see because right now we're getting so many people and we are learning as we go along to the situation and we will try to contact some some politicians or some congress people or anybody who can help any organization and i'm making a call to aclu to care and all those organizations who can help support those people because there are four thousand people affected by it and we need to step up and help them okay yeah, okay, sure, but uh, like, uh, uh, you, like, but by that time, I, I don't think the job will be there for me, like, there won't be an hour because it's like a contact job, so they would uh, put me out of a job, I, I think so, like, uh, is there any other option, like, staying, uh, like, stopping my first job, learning, but I, I go for work and... No, I cannot give you this kind of advice, I cannot give you any advice which is illegal, I can only give you legal advices, so why did you give me a call at the office, let us see, you might, if the company needs you so bad, they might be able to put you in H1B, talk to them, we can do it yeah. very fast, okay? Yeah, like they are actually willing, uh, willing to sponsor, like uh, shall I tell them to just apply it now or just... Yes, tell them to apply right now, it's open, there are 1500 left, it might be finished in one week, give me a call at the office, I can even guide the company, why don't you introduce me to the company, I can guide them how to do it, okay? Yeah, sure, I would do that, and uh, like one more question regarding my friend, one of my friends, like... Uh, I think, why don't you give me a call, I have three more people waiting, I'm sorry, I, I just want to give everybody a fair chance, why don't you give me a call at the office, I'll be glad, or tell your friend to call us and I'll be glad to answer him. Okay. Okay. He's in India actually, so he can't call to the Oh, uh, right, right then call, call my office and I'll, I'll do that for you from the office, okay? Okay, like what time shall I call you? You can call right now, they will schedule something 510. 742-5887. Okay. I just want to be fair to everybody. We have only one hour, so I want to, and only 20 minutes left, okay? Good luck to you. Yeah, right. Okay, yeah. bye bye. This is Sharp Rally, we are live on air. Hi, sir, how are you doing? I'm doing well, I'm doing well. What can I do for you, sir? What can uh, I do for you, sir? Yeah, uh, actually, I have an issue like uh, uh, with the private university. Yes. Uh, actually, when I come to the USA, I come on a university here. Um, when I enter the US on university here, in, in few days, like in 10, 10 days, I transfer my series to university B. Yes. They are studying like two semesters. Yes. Uh, but because of some reasons, my series has been terminated. Yes. And then I contacted the Trivial University. They said, you can join the Trivial University, but you need to take the new I-20 and you have to take the new series uh, fee. Mm. That's what I did. And uh, now I'm done with the two, I mean, two semesters in the Trivial University. Uh -huh. So right now, we just well, now you are in another problem of service termination. Um, yeah. Well, um, I don't think they're going to look at the back back of it unless there's some fraud involved. But um, 
right now you don't have any more kind of status so you, your best bet is either to transfer to another kind of visa maybe h4 b visa h1b or even other issues that's why i'm asking people to call my office on 510-742-5887 what we're doing we're going through like any kind of a checklist with each of our clients and see what is the best option or what are the possible options so give me a call i can look into that or find out the school too but there will be a problem in the school that's why we are looking to uh, into right now because technically they will want um, tri valley to release you kind of uh, the, the the paperwork has to be done from tri valley but there is an exception to that so we are trying to work to that exception for for our students okay and uh, the one more thing they actually came to me is that the h1 cap has been i mean the h1 uh, time has been uh, over for this time i mean I don't know yet uh, because as from the 21st there was 2000 left and um, there might be some more left I don't know right now I don't have the exact figures but you are right maybe it's finished but I'm thinking there will be till Friday there might be some more left okay uh -huh. okay so you might want to check right now on those cases okay give me a call at the office and I'll be glad to look into it okay okay we have another caller let me take the other caller this is Sharp Rally we're live on air Hi, this is Mani. I just recently transferred my savings to Tri Valley. Yes. And uh, um, I can't save it like because they weren't responding to my emails and phone calls. And I called at least three to four times. Yes. Uh, to save it, and I asked them whether I can transfer my uh, savings. I mean, sorry, cancel the savings. Um, then my old university, they asked my old university to call them and my old university people called them. Mm. But uh, by the time they called them, that was the day when this happened. And they asked her to call back next day because Tri Valley has registered me and dropped me. Okay, so mm. what, what we can do is that, uh, can you find another school who's willing to take you? Then so can the old university is willing to take me and they're trying to talk to these people. They are giving... Uh, a phone number of ICE. When we call ICE, they are they they don't know anything about this, and they are okay. telling us to call. Uh, yeah, exactly. ICE. This is the whole problem with the system. They they do a lending and then they don't know how to control it after that. So this is why we are going to try to push as lawyers because as lawyers we're not only defending people, we're also advocates. So I'm going to try what I'm doing right now in the office uh, or our team. We are being in contact with the American Immigration Lawyers Association. We're trying to reach mm -hmm. them and we are in contact also with uh, we're trying to get in contact with some Congress people in the in the surrounding to help us. So at this point right now it's a limbo situation. So I will advise you to give me a call at the office or check the updates on my website on immigration legal blog or on piralilaw.com P E E R A L L Y Law.com. We will post as many updates as possible. But why don't you give me a call? I want to know what's happening on your case, okay? Sure. And one more question. Uh, like I have, I have already I, can you call me? I have four more callers and I don't want to be unfair sure. to them. Call me at the office sure. and we'll be glad to talk to you, okay? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Let me take the other call. This is Sharp Rally, you're live on air. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello, my name is Maya. Hi, Maya. Hi. I was wondering if you uh, deal with uh, Fiji visas also? Yes, we deal with every, uh, everything in immigration. Uh, today is just because there was some important uh, situation that happened. That's why we are dedicating the show to, to the Tri-Valley uh, University issues. But you can give me a call at the office. I'll be glad to talk to you. We, we deal with everything in immigration pretty much. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, the number is 510-742-5887. Okay. Okay, thank you. Have a You're welcome. Good luck to you. This is Shah Ali. You're live on air. Hello. Hello. Yeah, hi. Um, uh, actually, uh, I have, uh, I transferred uh, to the Tri Valley University uh, in fall 2009. Uh, the thing is, like, right now, uh, I'm on a vacation in, uh, to India, so I'm not able to figure out how to come back. You're in India right now? Mm hmm So you're calling me from India? Yeah. Okay, okay. So we're probably watching them when they are, uh, you see, this is the situation. This is what we're going to do. Once we get a result, be in touch with my law firm, keep being in touch mm -hmm. with me. And then what I will mm -hmm. do is that once I know, by this end of this week, we will have to have found some solutions for people. And maybe we'll transfer you to another university if possible, and okay. then we'll get you back in here. So keep in touch with my law firm, and my email is Shah. 
at pivalilaw.com s h a h at pivalilaw.com and thank you for calling from India and I know you are not the only one in that situation since the weekend mm -hmm. I've been getting calls yeah. from India and I really appreciate you calling on the air uh, on this and tell everybody uh, just be in touch with us um, on my email shah at pivalilaw.com or info at pivalilaw.com and we will try our best to help you so um, uh -huh. And, and I just have a, I just have a question. Sure, sure. Like, like, there won't be any problem while coming back, or is it like? Yeah, you have a problem. You, you don't. You cannot come back right now. Yeah. And, until yeah, we get you transferred, you don't have yeah. anything. You, you, they won't okay, let you come I back in. my flight again? So that's yeah, you did the right thing. Cancel the, the flight. Be in touch with yeah. us. If any new mm -hmm. bulletins comes up, we will post it on Immigration Legal Blog or on PiraliLaw.com. So keep checking our website and keep in communication with our office. We also have a newsletter that we will release. So if anything new, we will put it on the newsletter. So sign up on the newsletter on PiraliLaw.com and keep okay. checking our website. If anything um, new, I will post it there. Okay. Uh, can I have a last question? Yes, um, go ahead. Like, like, can we just look in for the other universities? Yes, you can go ahead and look, look for another university. That's what I'm saying. I want you to look okay. for another university. And in the okay. meantime, you can be in contact with us. We can talk to the university and see how we can get it down for you. Okay? All right. Okay, okay. good luck to you. Mm -hmm. right, let me take the other thank caller. You. Thank you. And thank you for calling from India. This is Shah Prali. We are live on air. Hi, Mr. Shah. Yes. Uh, Ms. Sunita, I just want to know about like uh, if uh, I come on a visa visa, can I transfer or convert my visa into a student visa? Uh, yes and no. Uh, regularly when you do that, if you come on a visitor visa, you have to mention at the U.S. Embassy or the consulate that you are planning to get a school. However, it is doable, but it's a 50-50 chance. But if you already mention, mention it at the consulate when you did the interview, they will put a note on the, on, the, uh, on the visa that you are looking for a school. They will allow you to easily do that. Yes, it is doable, but if you, the best way to do that is to mention it when you take the visa at the embassy. Okay. But, but, but one problem is like uh, I am talking about my son. So I will apply for him, and then if he likes this, I do. Uh, will they allow to enter the country? Oh, then it's a different question you're asking. Did you already apply for I-130 for him or something? Mm -hmm. right. Okay, then that's a different question because a student oh. visa is a non-dual intent visa. So mm -hmm. if they see that, they might deny him. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot give you an exact answer. He can always try. But I cannot tell you if they will approve it or not. It's a 50-50 chance, unfortunately. So you don't need a lawyer for that. Just apply for the visa and then let's see what happens, okay? Okay. Okay, unfortunately, I cannot answer this because it depends on the... Uh, but tell the truth. That's the most important thing. You need yeah, to tell the truth, okay? Yeah, okay. Good luck to you. Okay, so we have, uh, as I was mentioning, the number to call the studio today is one eight five five seven seven two eight two seven eight. And really, uh, I appreciate the calls we're getting from India, from Fiji, or uh, from other countries because I know people are watching us also on on that um, on shopwhileosho dot com, where you can see us basically live on live stream while I'm talking, and uh, I am live on KLOK eleven seventy with Radio Fundu. And I thank Ritu for sitting with me today. It's kind of hectic in the studio. The number to call is 1-855-772-8278. Uh, feel free to call us. And the number to my office is 510-7242-5887. I am Sharp Raleigh. I am an immigration attorney uh, in the Bay Area, California. And um, our law firm deals mostly with immigration law, but some other areas of law also. For example, we do also debt settlement and things like that. If you want to check on the debt settlement, you can check on your debt settlement uh, attorney.com. But today our specific uh, topic is a tri-valley university raid and all those students who are out i'm sorry my i'm losing my throat because i've been talking so much um i think we have one caller let me take the other call this is shop you're live on air yeah my name is venkatesh yes venkatesh how are you yeah i am good i enrolled for tri-valley in uh, 2010 fall semester yes I completed one semester Yes. and I did not enroll for second semester. Mm -hmm. I'm looking to transfer and it happened uh, everything for Tri Valley. Yes. Now what is the position? Is my service is transferred to another college? Is it already transferred? When did you do that? 
No, I did not. I did not do that. Well, then you have to do something because I cannot tell you your position. Just to let you know, in general, everybody who's used Tri Valley is either losing their service or their service has been cancelled or put in on hold. So at this okay. point, only a new school or another options like if you are eligible for an H4 visa or possibly we can look into a humanitarian B1 visa or any kind of other visa we can put you on or ultimately if we cannot help you then you'll have to go uh, i'm sad to say some people will not be able to be helped uh, but um but our goal here is to try our best to help as many as possible if you call my office because now we're getting so many calls that we are kind of learning from student what is happening and we are we are adapting our strategy accordingly so give me a call at the office five one zero okay, i'll call okay is, is there any possible to is the service must be come on the can again come on current my service is there any possible what do you mean uh your your to, say, huh? service is there any chance to transfer my service uh, f1 status to another college if i have any other admission Yes, this is a whole issue we are having right now. This is what we have been discussing. Technically, okay. you are getting into the school, but we have a problem because those two schools have to talk and tribal is shut down. What we are trying to do is we are trying to, to get enough people and enough support to ask for an exception from immigration. So that's why we are, I'm telling everybody just to hold on and, hang, uh, and, and let us try our best to, to gather enough momentum that we will have at least the uh, eyes to help us because so many students are affected innocently on that yeah, so yeah. I know why this is happening it is doable it's just like they have to allow us to do it okay 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 good luck to you give me a call back if you have any questions on 510-742-5887 okay hello this is Shapira you are live on air hello hello this is Shapira you are live on air no, I didn't change time. This is an exceptional uh, show we had today because of the situation and also because last week we had some issues. So tomorrow we still have our show. Oh, okay. That, that is a question only I wanted to ask because I, was, I completely missed this. Oh, okay. You thought it was Tuesday today, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm the real result of your call for the opportunity. Oh, thank you. Thank you for being here. I, I really like your support. And listen to us. We'll be there tomorrow. Today is just an exceptional uh, situation, and that's why we are here today. And we might do a couple of more on that because this thing is really big and it's in our backyard. So we want to protect as many people as we can, okay? Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. And keep listening to us okay sure, sure, sure. thank you and uh, from this caller yes uh, actually we have a show tomorrow from 11 to 12 and I think I might extend a little bit talking about the tribe valley but we're not going to talk only about that tomorrow unfortunately because I have so many other issues I have to discuss but you're welcome to call my office on 510-742-5887 the number to call the studio I think uh, let me check how much time I have uh, I think I have five more minutes so you can still call us on 1-855-772-8278 and we were talking about the Tri-Valley University situation um, just to tell everybody to recap what I've said in the beginning first rule if immigration is coming to your house you have the right to tell them I would like to have an attorney present if in case they, they want to pick you up for removal proceeding that means deportation you have to go with them at this point one person or a friend or family has to contact an attorney uh, because then at this point you might have to get Get, uh, bonded or things like that but anytime you speak to any authority either it's FBI state and everything it's always recommended to have an attorney because this is your right unfortunately because this is immigration ma an immigration matter you don't have a right to a free attorney like in criminal matters so you will ha I will advise you to have a, 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 an attorney's phone number or an attorney on the a retain on the case to be able to to process your your, your 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 case so that if in case they come to you you don't panic and you say hey, I don't know what what to do um, the truth is that you can always um, you can have an attorney and having an attorney makes a big difference if you read on my website on my blog shopperali.com shopperali.com is my personal blog I posted what we call know your rights and know your rights are some basic rights that have been written long time ago especially after September 11 it was written by I was one of the person who kind of started it and, and then other people joined in and they made it nicer and the low caucus came out with a final version 
and uh, that version is published on my website on piralilaw.com and if you want the link it on shapirali uh, shapirali.com uh, on the first article you will see on the bottom and shapirali.com also I have posted a YouTube video and you can watch this um, this program live right now from the radio station on on the ask us attorneys.com someone told me just like shapirali law show has kind of a virus link so just go into this other website because we post it on all those website or on on US African Indian radio.com US African Indian radio.com where people and we have one caller you take the caller Hello? this is shop Rally, you're live on air yes yes go ahead I'm listening to you hello yes, yes. sir uh, I'm a Kriwali university student yes sir yes I'm listening to you you're live on air so, uh, so I'm on my uh, curricular practical training, the CPT from Cry Valley. Yes. And my question now is, since all this happened from the last week, mm -hmm. can we continue working? No, or? no, no. If you are no. listening to my show, you cannot. I will advise you to give me a call at the office and we are trying to look into that but no because the service is cut off uh, from the information we have gotten and we don't have a lot of information actually but we have as much as we can uh, your service is uh, your CPD is attached to the school and the school has been closed down and the service is in limbo so technically no you cannot work uh, that's unfortunate but we are well, if you give me a call at the office, I don't have much time left. If you give me a call at the office on 510-742-5887, we might be able to look into all your other options. If you can convert to H4, H1B or something like that. Talk to your employer. They will put you on H1B. I think H1B is still open. I'm not sure. One caller said it just closed. But I think it's still open till end of this week. So check into all this. Or we have to get you transferred to another school. Is all our service terminated or like what is the uh, news on it that? Is either is, it is either terminated or, or, or on hold. We are trying to get hold of ICE to know exactly where they're standing on this. But unfortunately since this morning the phone is, is ringing off the hook there too. They're not taking the calls. We are almost finished with the, the with the with the show. So I will advise you to give me a call at the office. Let me analyze your case uh, and see what we can do on 510-742-5887. I have three more minutes left or oh, I'm done. Okay. I have two more minutes, so I, let me take the few other calls. It's one eight five five seven seven two eight two seven eight. And thank you very much for all for calling. I know this was an special edition we had today, and it was on the Tri Valley Service. Um, um, Tri Valley University issues with immigration. And just as a disclaimer, anything I told you today was for educational and informational purposes only. You should not act or refrain to act based only on that information. You should contact an attorney to, to check your case. And if until a retainer is signed by the attorney and the and the client, there's no attorney client relationship. So make sure if you want to do things right, get a, li a licensed attorney. I I mean, don't just get someone who is not licensed or consultant. Uh, right now, there are there are options uh, that might be available. We are trying to compile as many as we can, but this thing happens so fast that we are trying to adapt ourselves too. Um, but the fact that we are be, we have been immigration uh, lawyers for a long time, it makes a difference because we know a little bit the trade, but we know also the tricks of the trade. So call us at the office 510-742. 5887 and our website is piralilaw.com p-e-e-r-a-l-l-y law.com and uh, like I said we were talking about the Tri-Valley University issues any students that is affected give us a call and some volunteers have proposed to help we'll be glad to, to see what, what they can do for us uh, give us a call the number to call is 510-742-5887 or email us on info at piralilaw.com info at piralilaw the website to check is p-e-e-r-a-l-l-y Law, L -A -W .com, or the blog is immigrationlegalblog.com immigrationlegalblog.com and for that I say thank you to all and those listening to us will be back on the air tomorrow from 11 to 12 and 1170 so if you have any question give us a call tomorrow will not be dedicated to that case but thank you very much and I say everybody bye bye